numbers are out for the latest Kids Count survey, which measures our children's well-being across the state of Kentucky. And despite the pandemic, the overall change during the last two years has been good. Yeah, so this data breaks down how well our kids were doing before COVID compared to last year. And it takes a look at health concerns, economic impact, education, and family matters. And Brooke is joining us now this morning with how JCPS is doing compared to the rest of the state. Brooke. Good morning, Kristen and Rob. This data really breaks everything down and how the kids are faring today by race and ethnicity and also how the racial injustice in over the last couple of years impacted not only the kids and their families. But when you look at a lot of this, our schools here in Jefferson County, as well as across the state, did fairly well. Taking a look first at the economic security, uh, when you're comparing numbers from the last two years, both JCPS and the state came out better than that last year. Child poverty rates have improved Improved, but they are still more than 10% higher for black and Latino kids compared to white. The study says child tax credits have helped as well as making the child care more accessible to working families. Regarding education, more students are graduating on time, but not all equally prepared for college and careers. And when you look at the rate of out of school suspensions, the latest kids count goes back to the year before COVID 2018 2019, when those numbers had risen across the state, showing a high rate of suspensions for black black students. But just last night we heard during a JCPS school board meeting numbers from this year showing a drastic decrease in suspensions for all grade levels. Really not a big surprise given the emphasis we have on alternative methods of resolutions, restorative practice, uh, focusing on relationship, intentional focus on relationship, progressive discipline measures, and trauma-informed care for all of our lower level offenses. And when it comes to our kids' health, we are seeing fewer people smoke during their pregnancy and fewer teen births across the board. JCPS also saw a slight decrease, however, in students with health insurance. Now, that last section shows a harsh reality for our foster care system, which is seeing more kids across the state and within JCPS, and fewer of these kids are being reunited with their parents and guardians. The data also shows minority children are more likely to age out of the system. This is just a glance at pages worth of content from this kids count data. You can go to our website right now, whas11.com, and actually look up your child's county, that school district, see how it compares to the state. And later today, we'll be hearing from some of our local school officials on this data, guys.